Father, thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. This is the day that the Lord has made for you to rejoice in his presence. Not only that, you need to know the reason why you are here and the reason why you are still, you know, breathing as a human being. It is not because of your effort. No. It is by the grace of tell your neighbor, say, there is no competition in destiny. I can't hear you. Say it again. Yes. There is no competition in destiny. There is no competition in destiny. Whether they hate you, love you, or reject you, your destiny is in the hands of God Almighty. Before you came to this life, God knows you. Before you were born from that family, where there is poverty, problem, what and what, name them. He knows your destiny. Who are you going to be in this life? This is where we human beings were missing the point. Even those who are connecting to this program, I want you to know that there is no competition in destiny. If it is the will of God for me to be a director of a company, a doctor, anyone can try to abort me at the age of one month, one week. Maybe it was not a program of my mother and my father for me to be born. They can try to abort me. They can try to do anything they want to do. But as long as my destiny is not to be killed at a tender age, they are just trying. God knows who I am before I came out. So there is no competition in what? In destiny. If you look at your friend, your brother, your sister, maybe they are doing very fine, they are living happily, they are enjoying, they are doing all that. Know for sure that that is their own destiny. Your own is a different. Because you are not like your brother or your, or, or your neighbor. If you live your destiny and you are living according to the standard of this world, that is where the problem is. There you invite a lot of problems which you cannot handle. But in your destiny, even if you know there are problems after problems, because it is your destiny, you are going to endure that situation and overcome that situation and become whom God wants you to become. Make no mistake. I cannot be like this brother or this brother to be like me. No. There are people that you don't know now. You know them in the next two, three, four, five years. That, oh, these are great people. This time around, you can't even recognize them. Even those who are rejecting within your family, you don't know them. You don't know their destiny. Maybe you are a firstborn, a lastborn, a self. It doesn't matter. What is important is the word God Almighty he shall speak upon your life. That is the key. And I want to take you to the book of Genesis. To the story that you know. There are two things we are going to learn here. This is the history of Esau and Jacob. From there, you learn one or two things. Okay. Let, let the people settle down. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for those who are just coming in so that 
We carry them along. Genesis 25. Verse 23. I'll just pick, you know, points. When you go home, you can go and read the all, but we all know the story about Esau and Jacob. But I want to draw something out of this. Listen to this. The Lord said to her, two nations are in your home. Two people from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other. And the other will save the young. Two people or two nations are in your home. Two nations are within you. Two nations are within you. Before Esau and Jacob came to life as human beings, this is the way that God speak or spoke to, to the human. Two people or two nations are in your home. Two people from within, you know, within you who be separated. I want to pose this question to you. It's just a foundation I want to, you know, to put on the ground. God spoke to Rebecca. Two nations are in your home. To be specific, God said, the elder shall save the young. He said it. From childhood, the life of Esau and Jacob, Rebecca loved Jacob more than Esau. And God never instructed her to love Jacob. But he spoke a word as a declaration. You cannot go against the word of God. You can go against anyone. Whether you like it or not, whether you love me or you hate me, whether they love you or hate you, what you are doing is within you. It is your destiny. It is part of you. You cannot grab it away from that person. This is why we need to be very much careful the way we live here on earth as human beings. The person that you underlate today, tomorrow, will be your savior. Your young brother, the one that you are beating every day, tomorrow is going to be your savior. Your sister that you reject, your brother that you reject, you don't, you, you don't want to see him at your place because your husband is working, you know you can afford to buy whatever you eat well, then your brother is here with kappa kappa to say, what do you want? She said, I'm you don't know that brother. I'm just giving you an example. I'm not saying this is the way we are living. My main point is our destiny. Your destiny cannot be changed by your situation. Your destiny cannot be tempered by your situation. Because what God said about your life is what you become in the near future. It's either tomorrow, next week, next year on you can even go to prison you come out your destiny is not in the prison it is the flesh the only mistake that you know you should not make is to live according to your senses live according to the will of god your destiny is unquestionable and unstoppable God spoke to Rebecca that two nations are in your home. The husband never, never choose, you know, Jacob to say, I'm going to bless you. No. He just thought, Esau, please, can you prepare some so that once I eat, then I can bless you. The mother was, you know, healing. She learned. Enter the, 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 the ship gate and bring something. And for your own information, I want when you go home, I'm looking at time. Go and read the opposite. Esau was a hunter. 
a very skillful hunter. Jacob was just, you know, <laughs> sitting at home. Kula muna fiotu bushpanganda. Esa wari kwete skill. Ya kuipa enama shampanga. Jacob wari fe panganda. Ale ikato tu waku ikata ikata. Ale tu waku chita chita. But this man, if you read the story, you, you can agree with Matthew. He was a hard worker. There's no way you can be a hunter and you are lazy. No, you need to be strong. Because in Amashampanga, Shirabutuka, Eloshari Chengela. But why is it that Esau missed this one? Being the senior brother, even his mind was completely manipulated. Because God already declared that Esau will save his young brother. That's why when he came back from the bush, he said, please, can you do something for me so that I can hit? The young brother said, give me your birth light. So, uh, what is that? I am about to die. And this is your twin brother. In short, what God you not declared about your life before you came to this life is what you become. The only secret is to make sure that you live the life that you presume. What you are going through as a human being is not to destroy you. It's to perfect your destiny. It's to reshape your destiny. You need to understand the nature of this life. In this world, it is not everything that you can say it is good for me. It is only God Almighty who is good for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the time came for her to give birth, there were twins boys in her home. Twin boys in her home. Why not, you know, the mother sit down with the husband to say, look, why must we allow, you know, Esau to save his young brother? That is an insult to him. She can talk to the husband, or she was supposed to talk to the husband to say, no, we cannot allow Jacob, you know, to uh, make his brother his servant. No, 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 no. He's the elder brother. And if you read the Bible before, God was more of the firstborn than the secondborn or the lastborn. But in this situation, the things, you know, tend unto, I mean, on the other side. You are what you are because that is your destiny. And I want you to know this. Don't, you know, live according to what you are going through or what people are saying about you or the treatment that you are facing. Or maybe because of your father is a poor man, no one is educated, no one is, is making it, no one is doing what and what. That is not your destiny. It is just a situation here. In your situation, you are a great person. You are a rich human or you are a rich man. Education is good. Yes, it is good so that you lead and you understand. But it doesn't mean that you can make it because you are educated. There are people who are educated but they are suffering. There are people who are not educated, they are living happily and employ graduate, working under their instructions. How come? How come? Mandela was in prison for how many years? Hmm? I'm sure if you know, you, you, I mean, if you cannot understand who you are and what God has put in you, you are hopeless in that prison. The only thing people hear is that, oh, the man is dead. Because immediately they put you there, you'll be depressed. You get the point. And depression is not part of your destiny. It is the horror from your enemy, and your enemy is Satan. The man was there for 20-something years. He came out and he became what? The president. Even in our time, our current president was thrown in the, in the although he was not jailed, 
You remember the case he was given? A treason. Although, you, you know, if you look at the nature of the case, I'm sure everyone was like his political career is now completely gone. But as long as his destiny is to be a president, he will leave that place and become whom God wants him to become. It doesn't matter who you are or what people are thinking about you. Your destiny is your destiny. The people that you are rejecting today, tomorrow you see them to be your leader. Your husband that you are treating like a child, tomorrow he will get a good position. He will be a rich man. Tell me how you are going to repair your relationship. He will look at the record. Before now, I was, you know, you were treating me like a, a what and what and what. Your wife that you are calling different names, tomorrow she's going to be your savior. You cannot change anyone's destiny. Lesala ndirefyo mkunga. There is a word in your life. God spoke to the blood of your mom and your dad. There is a word. And that word cannot be fulfilled without the obedience to the word of God. Those who are saying you are a barren woman, you die with no child, is it from Jesus or is it just an affliction? Delay is not a denial. There is no competition in destiny. Work with God's time. I mean, move with what? God's time. People can say anything according to what they, you know, I, I mean, they know about your life or see about your life. But Jehovah has a final say. People are looking at you. Ah, palaponseta balekwate fumu. Palaponseta. They don't know that you give birth to the mother of what? Miracles. Just one child or two children. There are others who are calling seven, eight children. They are just giving them problems, stealing their money, destroying their properties. Two children who are going to shake the world. Two. Your destiny is your destiny. There is no competition at all. God knows who you become. Before you were born to this life, he knew that Mulenga will be what you see me doing. You can fight me. You can lie against me. You cannot grab Jesus away from me. It is a free gift from God Almighty. Adi shilaka lelesa. Whether you call me idiot, you call me what? You can call me any name. But in my own destiny, I am a great child of God. So there is no competition when it comes to what? Destiny. If you are a lawyer, <laughs> you can fail maybe two, three, four times. It doesn't mean that you are not a lawyer. You are a lawyer and you'll be a lawyer, a great lawyer. You can fail grade 12 exam. Ask your mom and your dad, how many times they failed, you know, grade 7 exam? Ask them, they are inside the church. Hmm? Ask them today, they are even now, you know, rebuking you. Ask them, they failed, how many times? Na pasukulu babe, shibatibaripita. But because destiny, you have no teacher. One day, five, 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 five. Bana College. Or, you know, that if you look at the result, distinction, merit, merit, merit. Someone who has been failing for seven times become the doctor. That is your destiny. Never you allow the situation to mislead you that, oh, you are a failure, or just because people are saying no, Ababe, now you can marry someone who is single. I'm telling you the truth. Make no mistake. In a phone, I shall say, she is not compared to life. No, it's a mistake. No, no. This is why you see people are going down every day. 
they are missing their destiny because their focus is on the other people's what? Destiny. Whatever you see, you start to what a, think about your destiny. Simple. No chapo afia. Matipadio kwa kaya. Eko kuli. Na mchungulo lesa ala pala. Na mchungulo lesa ala itashani. Ali na miaka inga isa kipaku kwa taba mpundu. Nga mulabele nga baibu. Siki stay yes. Tekuma after nuku. Is it not after nuku? Eh. Siki stay na was. Make no mistake, you are a great child of God. What you are going through is just for a while. Your faith must be tested. Your death must be perfected. So don't mind your situation. Don't mind your situation. Satan is always, you know, dealing with your thoughts. Because you think a lot. Your thinking cannot bring solution. No, it is your destiny. It is your what? I saw Adi Mwame who are lelunge nama. Who are ishivefio? I cannot manga kapitira pa yena la kapitiro kwa ya kekata. But Jacobo, ham pita mublen because the safety situation. If you are the salanda, if you tuva, not if you are bantu balanda. If you are the situation. I remember, I was kulaku ne kuche chwari akuri ba mulenga ma che chia ba pente alawa. The word pent came from the Holy Spirit. Yalawa, Vakaluvana, Vakamona, Vakon Fanenson, Tamwa Confuenson, Mukalam Fafia Buino. Because we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. That is our destiny. Those who are, you know, who are against us. They are just wasting their time. As we are moving, because our destiny is moving, our destiny is marching. Let them continue talking, we are walking. Let them continue gossiping, we are moving. Let them continue saying whatever, we are moving. That is our destiny. That is what? Yes. Don't waste your time to pay attention to these you know, negative things. Is there anyone who can find solution by beating someone? Can you buy chicken just because you are beating this one? No. Don't mind them. You are a great child of God. Uh, you know, it, 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 it is something that sometimes when you sit down, the way you start your journey and the way you are going to end your life is very, very important. Maybe you don't know this. Two days in your life, the day you came to this life and the day you are going to leave this world. You came to this world without a cloth. But by, that, by the time you are going to leave this world, you shall leave something behind for your children to enjoy that yes. So don't mind those who are negative about your life. Be positive always about your life. Your destiny cannot be what? I can't hear you. I say your destiny cannot be what? As long as God, you know, Adi Lembaka Liati, oh, Chanda is a lawyer, Musonda is a lawyer, Hamusonda is a lawyer, a medium is a lawyer, or oh, you are a doctor, or oh, you are a businessman. Those who are fighting you, they are just pushing you, you know, to the right what position where you know you can attract now blessings for your destiny. Are you there? Let them, you know, continue talking about you. They are just, you know, promoting you, advertising you, because you are a great child in the eyes of God. Are you there? They know you as a sick person, because news, you know, leaked that, oh, Mulenga is now tested, uh, HIV or TB, is uh, going now. Going where? Going where? Not until you fulfill the purpose of, you know, your, your, your life. There is no way you can live here on earth without fulfilling the purpose. The reason why you came to this life, there is a, a purpose, and that purpose is from God. Are you there? So please, make no mistake. There is no competition in 
destiny. Abanga bai pick of wadi, abantuba butasha, na mwe pick any fio bueno, the way you know. Don't you come up with what we share, eh, we shall menshi, bachilanga yabiroka, elobabika mbunga na wachitashan. Watch pia, how many minutes? Uh, you become a photocopy. You, you are competing in destiny. Cook the way you know. Ngani punch muna ilanga bulateka leke ni buteke. That is your destiny. There are people who can enjoy that in Shima. Nombe fumwa temwa ndefuwa njewe. Mishewe na bachitashani. Mishewe na bachitashani. That is not your destiny. Kwa di baba alelu wama kofi. Today they are billionaires. Are you going to be a boxer for you to be a billionaire? Maka ya kuipaya. Because their destiny of it. Follow your destiny. Mm, follow your what? God bless you.